Hi friends, Juan the Yarn Addict here bringing you another stitch tutorial. The stitch that you see before you today is called the Cabbage Patch Stitch. It is a very simple two row repeat. It's got great texture, my friends, on both sides. I'm assuming they called this the Cabbage Patch Stitch because on the one side here, it kind of looks like cabbage heads, I think. Not really sure, but that's the name of this. There's tons of texture, as I mentioned, on both sides. This is a great fabric for blankets, throws. You could even make wearables with this. It's super nice. I used a medium four weight yarn for this and a six millimeter crochet hook. Feel free to use whatever yarns slash hooks that you would like, but I would recommend that you follow the ball band uh, for the hook recommendations, okay? The stitch multiple here is four plus two. Again, very simple, very quick to work up. It's a two row repeat, which involves uh, crosses in between clusters and it bounces back. So there's a lot of stretch here. Super nice. Okay. So without further ado, my friends, let's go ahead and get right into the tutorial. Okay. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using a medium four weight yarn and a six millimeter crochet hook. To begin, what we want to do is create a slip knot on our hook. However you do this is absolutely fine, so long as the end result is this. And so from here, what we're going to do is chain multiples of four. So for the purposes of this tutorial, my friends, I'm only going to chain about 20. So I'm going to place you guys on a brief pause and get my 20 chains, and I will be right back. Okay, so I have 20 chains here. And the other part of it was plus two. So I'm going to chain two. And then in the second chain from the hook, I'm going to insert my hook and do a single crochet. And for this very first row, my friends, we're going to go ahead and do single crochets all the way across your chains. So continue doing that. And I will meet you guys at the end of this row here of chains, all single crochets. Okay. Okay, friends, so I just finished the first row here. It's a row of single crochets. Super easy. And now what we want to do to start the next row is we want to chain two. Okay, the chain two does not count as part of our work. It literally elevates us to the next row here. So from here, what we want to do is turn our work and we want to go into that very first stitch with a double crochet. So yarn over, go into the stitch, draw up a loop, Yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, just like that. So now what we want to do is skip one and go into this next one here with four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Next, what we want to do is skip the next three. So skip, skip, skip. And in this fourth one here, we want to do four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Okay? And that part here is the repeat for the rest of the row. So after you do your four double crochets, you're going to skip three and go into the fourth stitch with four double crochets. So skip, skip, skip. And go into the fourth one here with four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. We're going to repeat that again. One, two, three. So skip, skip, skip. And in the fourth one here, four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. We're going to do that one more time. Skip, skip, skip. And in the fourth stitch, we're going to go ahead and do four double crochets. So one, two, three, and four. And so now at the end of the row, you should have two stitches left. We're going to skip one and then do a double crochet in the last stitch of the row just like that, okay? So to go to the next row, what we need to do is chain two. 
it's always going to be chain two and it will never count. Okay, so chain two and turn our work. And we're going to go into that very first stitch with a double crochet, which is the repeat. The beginning and end of every row will have one double crochet here. Okay, so this next row is a little tricky, but it's definitely manageable. So we're going to work in the ends here. Okay, so the first and the last stitches here is the stitches of uh, interest to us in this row. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by working a double crochet in this stitch right here. We're going to chain two and then come back and do a double crochet in this stitch right here. Okay, these two middle stitches here are of no use to us in this row. Just the first and the last of the clusters. Okay, so let me just get my tension back here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go uh, into a double crochet right into this stitch, the furthest one away here. So we're going to yarn over and go into this last one here with a double crochet. We're going to chain two. And then now our focus needs to be this very first stitch here. So in order to get there, we're going to yarn over, take our hook, come down into the triangle, into that very first stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. Okay, we're gonna do that again. So here's the next set of stitches. Our focus needs to be on the end stitches. So this stitch here and this stitch here. Okay, so we're gonna work the furthest one away. We're gonna yarn over and go into that last stitch there, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. We're gonna chain two, and then now we want to go into that very first stitch right here. So to do that, we're going to yarn over, go down in the triangle here, into the first stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. Okay, so we'll do it one more time and then I will pause you so you can continue on with your project. So again, the first and the last stitches of the cluster here are our focus. So we're going to yarn over and go into the furthest one away. Go in, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. We're going to chain two. And then we're going to yarn over, go in the triangle. Let me move this out of the way so we can see. Go in the triangle, go into that very first stitch. Draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. Okay, so continue doing that, my friends, and I will see you at the end of this row here. Okay, friends, so here I am at the end, and what we need to do in this very last stitch, as I mentioned when we started the row here, we need to end the row with a double crochet in that last stitch here. So double crochet. We're going to chain two and turn our work. So for this row here, it's a repeat of the first row here, okay, of the two row repeats. The foundation does not count, obviously. The two row repeat is the cluster and the cross here. So what we want to do is we want to start the row by going into the very first stitch with a double crochet, just like that. And now our focus needs to be on the insides of these crosses across the top here. Okay, so what we want to do is insert our hook into that cross there. And what we want to do is put four double crochets inside that cross there. So drop a loop, yarn over, go through two, go through two, and we're going to do four of them in each cross. So there's one, it's two, three, and four. And we're going to jump right to the next cross. Yarn over, go right in, double crochet, and you're going to do four of them in here. Just like this. So continue doing that, my friends, and I will see you at the end of the row. Okay, friends, so here I am at the end of the row. And like I mentioned before, the first and the last stitch of every row gets a double crochet. So we're going to go into that with a double crochet. We're going to go ahead and 
chain two and turn our work and we're going to repeat the cross row here. So the very first stitch gets a double crochet as I mentioned before and then our focus needs to be the first and the last stitches of our cluster here. So we're going to yarn over and go into that last stitch and do a double crochet. We're going to chain two and then we're going to go into that very first one right here. Okay, see this triangle? We're going to yarn over and go inside there and through the front. So yarn over, go in the triangle, through the front, drop a loop, stay back behind there, and do uh, go through two, yarn over, go through two. And then after that, you're going to jump right into this last stitch of this cluster with a double crochet. Chain two, yarn over, go in the triangle, and in the first stitch, and do a double crochet, just like that. It's a little disorienting at first, but once you get the hang of it, it goes super fast. Okay, so double crochet, chain two, yarn over, in the triangle, and in the first stitch. Drop a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. So continue doing that, my friends, and I will see you at the end of the row. Okay, friends, so there you have it. We did the two a repeat twice. I'm gonna do several more rows to just kind of show you what this looks like in a different color. Okay, and that's the back so far. All right, so I'm gonna continue on with this and I will be right back in a jiffy. Okay, friends, I've done a few more rows here and I just wanted to show you what this looks like in another color. Super nice. And I will tell you, just as a suggestion, when you're working this project with this stitch, um, to not end on the row with the clusters, because what happens is, is you have all the stitches here and nothing to like bind them together. So I would strongly recommend that um, you end in this cross row here, because what it does is it, it pulls the stitches together and it keeps everything lined up correctly, okay? So let me just pull back the original swatch here just to kind of show you again what this looks like on a bigger scale. It's so nice, guys. I love this stitch. And it's a lot of fun to work. Anyway, that is all I have for this tutorial, my friends. If you enjoyed this, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and then of course hit that notification button to stay updated with everything regarding me and my channel. That's all I have for you today, my friends. Until the next one, take care. Bye-bye.